Good morning everyone. This is HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop 15 model and it doesn't turn on. So let's connect the charger and check if there is indication of power. Okay, so we connected the charger and we're going to check. So when I connected the charger, I found myself this is kind of flimsy, you know, and there is no light. Let's press the power button. Still, there is nothing. All right. So from my experience, I found the problem is the actual charging port. So I had to place a water and it came all the way from China. It took about two to three weeks to arrive. And this is the charging port with the flex connector. So today we're going to change it and see if there is any luck. To replace this pole, uh, simple but to disassemble the actual laptop to replace the charging port is kind of difficult. So I'm going to show you how to do step by step. So be patient, the video is going to be long because the actual charging port cable it's uh, laid under the heat sink so we have few steps first of all the back cover disconnect the battery then disconnect the flex cable i mean uh, the cooling fan connector and then we need to replace the actual port cable okay so i'm gonna carry on some part of the video are fast forwarding to make it shorter but still this is more than 17 to 18 minutes long if you feel this is too long for you then you can skip you can get to the core point to replace it but if you never done and if you need the proper help step by step then you can follow all the way from the beginning to the end and still if you do have any sort of question regarding this model always feel free to leave it in the comment section all right and also let me tell you the core point okay after you open up the back cover there is a challenge to open up these two plastic hinge cover or buckle whatever you call all right so this one the left one came up easily when i push forward and the right one was kind of difficult as you can see how simple it is but the other one wasn't like this but anyway it take a few attempts might be so be patient and do it one by one and before you push it forward make sure you take out the two small screws and i would suggest you to keep organizing all the screws because hp always does use all different size, uh, sizes of screws so example the battery has kind of fat and long one and then the actual hinge cover or let's say hints a uh, heat sink radiator cover does have very tiny screws okay so keep in mind make it organized and do step by step then you're not going to be confused later on okay to open up the actual battery flex cable is kind of difficult don't pull it from the wire try to use two uh, narrow tools like tweezer or screwdriver to push it all right that's fine now now we're going to get into the metal plate which is laid top of the cooling fan this one also does have screws you know there are too many screws as i've said uh, so carry on like that and then afterward we're going to take out the actual um, secondary board which is on the left hand side as you can see with the usb port and stuff like that and i forgot to mention we must need to take out the battery i mean sorry we must need to take out one of the ram from the ram slot before you pull out the battery otherwise the battery wouldn't come okay so be careful first take out one of the ram which is right next to the battery before you pull out the battery and then it should be fine all right then so let's carry on and see if you can get successful with this and if there is any luck to get the power back into the laptop. 
All right, so because of this is a long process, what are you going to do? First, we'll disconnect the broken charging port flex connector, and then we're going to reconnect the new charging port connector just to see if there is any indication of light. Otherwise, there is no points because if you take out the heat sink to remove the actual charging port flex cable, then you have to reapply the thermal paste and you know a lot of screws and the secondary board this is a kind of hassle so it's always good to give it a try and if you see any sort of light that it shows that it's charging and if the laptop turns on then we can reassemble it okay so i connected just the connector and i'm going to put the charger now and if we able to see any light yes here you go we can see the frosted light because there is no uh, battery connected. If there was battery, it was going to be kind of amber color. As you can see, the fan was spinning. Let's push the power button. Yes, that's absolutely fine now. So we are good to go. We're going to replace it. And as I said, remember to apply the thermal paste.